What's good, thugs and thuggets? And welcome to another replay review. Today, we're on Longbow with BS972 with what is quite possibly one of the most fun game types in all of Halo 4. Binary snipes. Ow, that hurts my throat. Cannot keep doing that. Welcome. It's Friday. Uh, sorry I missed the upload yesterday. Uh, as it turns out, I was a little bit sick this week, hence why I was doing my deep, angry, action star voice, which is still hurting a lot right now. In fact, I may have to pause the video to get water. And that's the magic of editing. You didn't even know that a little bit of time passed right there, did you? I could have gone and gotten a snack and done all that stuff. Today, we are on board with BS972, and this is... I have to make sure that's your gamer tag, actually. I was right! The power of editing again. You didn't hear or see anything. Binary Snipes, really fun game type. It's one-shot kill anywhere that you hit the body. The gun has two shots in it. You have infinite ammo. And I, I'm just going to tell you right up front, BS972, your sensitivity is too high. So we've gotten out of the way. I don't have to hammer that 19 different times. But especially when we watch your gameplay, you're going to overpass enemies all the time. Overshoot. You're going to try and put the reticle on it and go too far. Now, when you slowly bring it in with your left stick, which is the right way to do it, that's great. But there's no need for you to be on, I'm calling it right now, sensitivity 5 or 6. I'm almost guaranteeing you this is 6. You don't need, oh, watch this, watch this. Karma. Karma, dude. If I believed in it, I would have to say that moment exemplifies it. You get selfish and you go for that animate. And I know you want those style points, which again leads me to believe why you're running that higher sensitivity. Does it look good when you can swing snapshot somebody? Yes. But does it also not work when you're playing players that know what they're doing? This is CSR 29. You do a fairly good job in the gameplay, but the twitching and the missing players, as long as you do, won't fly past the CSR probably 38 mark or above. Especially in Team Snipers, where you're going to be playing people who are deadly accurate, who aren't going to be missing those shots. Let's bring that sensitivity down. I don't know why I'm talking in this weird draw, so I'm going to get rid of it. Let's bring that sensitivity down one, possibly two notches. You do put together a nice kill feed, but I guarantee you, you could get more if it was a little bit lower. The reason I can tell it's too high is not only just the overshooting, but the spastic way you are playing. You have this very twitchy, look left, look right, look left, look right. That guy should have been down way by now. Why did you reload without taking the second shot? Why are you instantly reloading after each shot? What if he was actually looking at you during that reload? He had two opportunities to take you out. That should have been an easy kill and you should have been moved on. But the fact that the sensitivity is so high, when they are in that mid to close range, it is darn near impossible for you to seal the deal and finish that shot off. Now it doesn't hurt you that much because this is CSR 29, but if you want to climb that rank and get to the top tier of Team Snipers, you're going to need to address this. I think it's with the lower sensitivity. Let's talk about spawns for a moment, shall we? Longbow is a very easy map to predict the spawns. And it's uh, very much like a Call of Duty map in the fact that you really have just three lanes of traffic. And if we oversimplify it, which I'm going to do for the sake of the video, two lanes of traffic. One, the path you're going, which I would consider the top. And then two, being the bottom, which is to your right right now. That is the only way for the enemy to push from one side of the map to the other. You have a blue side and you have the red side. You are now in the middle of the map. So there are two places that the enemy can spawn based on where your teammates are and where they're looking. If the majority of your teammates are here in the middle, they are most likely going to spawn in the red spawn, which is to your left in their base. If you guys push too far up, then they will spawn in the secondary spawns, which are to your right, like directly on the lower side in the middle of the map. Consider it, if you're looking at red base, consider that 2 o'clock to about 4 o'clock. Right where you're looking now, oh, nope, there you go, that's your secondary spawns. And that is a, a possible spawn location, and it's based on the weighting of your teammates and a couple of other things. But right now, look left. Look at the red team spawn. You can predict where they're going to come from. Look left. Look at the red team spawn. Of course, that's where they're coming from. Why? Because it's a very easy process of elimination. If they are not spawning in that secondary spawn to the right, let's assume that they're going to spawn in their base like 80% of the time. The only reason that they wouldn't spawn there is that A, one of your teammates is looking at the spawn or right in that location, or B, one of your teammates has pushed up way too far. It's about as easy as that. 
Now we're gonna fast forward the gameplay here because you spend the next about minute and a half looking where they're not at. Now you can hear your teammates shooting at them in the red base and then boom! We finally get to look at the red base spawn and now you figure it out and the end of the gameplay is awesome because you guys start forcing the spawn. I'm not gonna call this a full on spawn trap because this is not like as hardcore as a spawn trap can be but you literally can force the red team if you guys do not push up too far to spawn right in front of you over and over again. My good friend Captain Falcon knows exactly what I'm talking about, don't you old chap, don't you? Yes, <laughs> yes you do. See, and now you're racking the kills up because there's nothing they can do. You know where they're going to spawn, and as long as you or one of your silly teammates don't push up too far, you're gonna be just dandy. So as we come in here to what I consider to be the end portion of the gameplay, I want to bring up slowing things down a bit. You're a very fast player. And a lot of times that hurts you. In fact, instantly reloading is not always what you need to do. And shooting is not always the priority if the shot's going to miss, especially since you only have two shots and you want to make it count with the binary rifle. Let's take a look. Beautiful drag shot right there. I enjoyed it. You're on the frenzy. Now, if this is an active choice to pull back, it's really smart because if you saw your teammate pushed into their spawn, which means they've activated the secondary spawns, which you just predicted, and then you go for this really weird pew pew kajooka boo and you get this nice no scope. Very nice right there. The two shots, actually it's one shot then jump and then go for the reload and get the no scope. It looks really good, but if that guy's shot was on, you die instantaneously. I'm not sure why you jumped down to a lower position when the height is what you really need. And look at that, that should have been easy shot. Easy shot. Uh, again, I think that's the, oh my goodness. You just missed that those two times just to show us your nose scopes, didn't you? You did. You did. Well, I'll say this. When you're on, it's very pretty to watch. But it's a bit spastic, it's a bit fast, and your sensitivity is definitely too high. Like, at the end of the gameplay here, just look at this situation. You knew that guy is on the top of the bit. Oh, nice. You knew the guy was on the top of the building for, like, 10 seconds already. That shot should have happened. You peek left, and you see a guy. Go back in right now. What are you doing? Go back in right now. No! No reason to stay in and peek that shot when you have the sight line on the right side of the rock in which only one enemy could shoot you, not two of them in the open space. Alright, I'll see you in the bullet points, BS972. I do enjoy getting Team Snipers gameplay. Thank you for sending this. Not many people send me Team Snipers, and it's a game type that's near and dear to my heart. It was really where my channel started. It was all I really posted was Team Snipers for a good, like, three months. Anyway, I'm going to restate the things that I usually say in the videos. People are like, Baby K, why are the bullet points at the end like the same stuff you talked about in the video? Because, friends, with very high annoying voices, it's because that's the theme of the things I want them to work on. Number one, I would lower the sensitivity. You're over-aiming on most of your shots. If you throw this one out the window, that's okay. It's a play style thing. That's just my opinion. It's I encourage most players to do this if it's a sensitivity I feel like that is hindering them. And that's just my two cents. I would slow down your movement a little bit and don't take the shot unless absolutely necessary. A lot of times you're instantly sprinting or instantly reloading when you take one shot and that will get you hurt way more often down the road. Anticipate the spawns. I don't want to say predict the spawns because that comes later, but anticipating the spawns is making educated guesses of where they are and where they are not. Spending about a minute and a half to two minutes of this game looking not in the main spawn is a detractor. I'm not saying this is something you're gonna learn overnight, but you can put it into your gameplay overnight. It takes time to master, but to just instantly do it, you can start right away. Just think about, I spawned here, where might they spawn? And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for sending the replay in BS972. Everybody, thank you for watching. This has inspired me. I've wanted to play some Team Snipers before MCC gets out, so I think I've got that inspiration boiling. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed, let me know with a like or a comment down below. Leave your own feedback. Please be nice, otherwise I'm going to have to have a talk with you, and I don't want to have to call your parents or send you to the principal's office. We'll see you next time.